The purpose of this video is to demonstrate how to set up the Comprobe BPA 600 from Frontline along with the Frontline Comprobe Protocol Analysis System for capturing and analyzing Bluetooth data. So we'll start up the CPAS software. When CPAS starts up, it shows you just those technologies that you can capture with the hardware that you have plugged in. So since we have the BPA 600 plugged in, we can capture Bluetooth Classic or Bluetooth Low Energy. So we'll start that. The first thing you're going to see are two windows here. We have the control window, which is a link to the other views in the system. And down here, the one that we're going to be concerned with most today, that is the data source window. And that's where you set up what devices you want to sniff. And in this case, we're going to provide a little encryption information as well. You'll see across the top here, four radio buttons. So you can sniff just low energy data or a classic single connection. That's just two devices connected to one another. Dual mode, which would be one device connecting to a classic device and an LE device. And you can do multiple connections in classic. For example, one master connected to two slaves. So for today, we're going to keep it simple by just doing classic only single connection. And all we really have to do here is tell CPAS what devices we want to sniff. And in this case, since we're doing legacy encryption, we're going to put in a pin code as well. So the easy way to find your devices is just to click on this icon here. And that's going to go out and find any discoverable Bluetooth devices within range. So what I'm looking for here is my iPhone, which we have here. And then this is a Bluetooth speaker that we're going to connect to. So once I've got my devices there, I just click Stop. And I can select my devices from the drop-down here now. And then the only other thing CPAS needs is the PIN code, which in this case is four zeros. And since these devices are doing legacy pairing, once we have the PIN code, and if we can capture the pairing process, then CPASS is going to calculate the link key for us, and we're going to be able to decrypt all the encrypted data. So that's all there is to it. Once we've got that, we just click the Start Sniffing button. You'll see our icon here is turned green. That tells us that CPASS is ready for us to connect our devices. So I'm going to tell the phone to pair to the speakers. You'll see the icon turn blue. It's going to turn blue again in a second. And that's telling us that uh, CPASS has picked up a baseband connection between the two devices and is ready for us to do the pairing. So I'm going to put the pin code in on the phone, tell them to pair, and they're connected. You'll see the icon here also indicates uh, by the direction of the arrow that the phone is the master here and the speaker is the slave. So then we can open up the frame display, and this is where we see the data actually displayed as it's being captured. It's divided into two sections. Over here we have what we call the summary pane, and you'll see this set of tabs across the top here. These are filters, essentially, for the different protocols and profiles that have been detected in the capture. So if I click on one of those, for example, if I click on hands-free, in here we'll see only those packets that have hands-free data in them. If I select one of these packets in the summary pane, you'll see over in the detail here, we show you not just the hands-free data, but all of the protocols that are in that packet. In this case, we've got baseband, L2CAP, and RFCOM, and hands-free down here. And every single field of every protocol is decoded right here. So that's all there is to it, to getting started with the analyzer. In subsequent videos, we'll go into some more depth about analyzing the actual data that we've captured. Those of you who used our previous sniffing hardware, FTS for BT or the BPA 500, may remember that we used to require that you assign a role to each of these devices, either master or slave. That's no longer necessary. Now you can just fill in the two device addresses and we'll determine the master and the slave for you.